everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. People have to face many trials throughout their lives, but it wouldn't be a stretch to say that the most common trial we face is temptation. Whether it's just the desire to procrastinate or stay up too late or just watch one more episode, far too often we're faced with the temptation to do something that we know isn't good for us. If you understand that struggle, then you might appreciate St. Euphrasia of Constantinople, who we're talking about today. Euphrasia was born in the year 380, when Rome was ruled by Emperor Theodosius I. Her father was related to the emperor and part of the royal court, but he died soon after she was born, so she and her mother were taken under the care and protection of the emperor himself. At five years old, Theodosius had Euphrasia betrothed to a wealthy senator, whom she was to marry when she came of age. Hoping to retreat from the royal court for a time, Euphrasia's mother took her young daughter and traveled to Egypt. Being a pious woman, she chose to live near a convent full of nuns. Little Euphrasia developed a strong attachment to the place and begged her mother to let her stay there longer than originally planned. Her mother humored the request, expecting that her daughter would get bored at the convent, but Euphrasia's attachment only grew with time. She even donned a habit when she was still only seven years old. Seeing how strongly her daughter was called to the religious life, she addressed Christ saying, Lord Jesus Christ, receive this child under your protection. You alone does she love and seek, and to you she recommends herself. Soon after this, Euphrasia's mother died, leaving the girl to be raised by the convent's nuns. Learning of her mother's death and knowing that she would eventually have to fulfill her long-standing betrothal, the emperor summoned Euphrasia back to the royal court. She quickly wrote him a reply asking that she be allowed to stay where she was and pursue her vocation. She also requested that her parents' possessions be distributed to the poor and all slaves they owned be set free. The emperor obliged her request and it seemed like Euphrasia's old life had been put behind her. Even so, she found herself tempted to return and see just what kind of life she had left behind. This temptation was so strong that she would have gone back to Rome had the abbess of the convent not warned her against it. The abbess knew that nothing good could come of Euphrasia going back, especially after declaring her intent to the emperor. And to distract the girl, she gave her many chores and menial tasks. Euphrasia performed all of these jobs with cheer and humility, setting a shining example for the rest of the convent, which was especially impressive considering how young she was. Though she only lived to the age of 30, Euphrasia's life was blessed. She performed miracles such as healing a crippled child and freeing a woman from demonic possession. In Euphrasia, we see that even people of saintly characters have trouble resisting temptation. It takes effort for everyone to persevere in their vocation. And while another episode of Psych isn't the end of the world, it's good to sometimes practice resistance with the little things so when big decisions come our way, we have the self-control to choose wisely. In this season of Lent, let's do our best to practice with those little things. Saint Euphrasia, pray for us.